in the form of graphs and charts in the form of graphs and charts on such type of data representation is the bar graph you may have seen bar graphs in the newspaper or television now see uh, those who read the newspaper they must have definitely seen a bar graph yes how many of you read newspapers yes ma'am yes ma'am do you read newspapers do you read newspapers ma'am sometimes yes ma'am sometimes sometimes yes ma'am sometimes okay too busy no time to read yes, the papers yes ma'am i am seeing seeing news sometimes you watch the news okay sometimes right ma'am sir sometimes watch the news and sometimes read the newspaper okay all right now i'll try and show you something can you see the screen children no 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 can see the screen i'm sharing a screen with you No, ma'am. No, ma'am. I will join for another device. Yeah, join for another, another device also to see whether you can. There's some network problem. Just a second. I'm still showing. Not like this. No, ma'am. I'm not going to join. I'm busy. I'm not going to join. Now can you see? Yes, ma'am. 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 Yes,
Page number 214, a bar graph also has a scale. It shows how many are being talked about for a unit scale. A bar graph can show more than one quantity at a time by using bars of different types of colors. Now see the second bar graph which is give, shown to you on page number 214. Page number 214. Ma'am, it is vertical. I'm just trying to share the screen so that I can talk to you while looking at the screen in front. There's some problem. I think it's not coming. Okay, look into your book. See here, the different colors. You can see this graph. It's showing you different colors. You can mark the various yes, data that is given to you with different colors. A bar, a bar graph can show how, uh, more than one quantity at a time by <coughs> using different types of colors. And there are two types of bar graph children, horizontal and vertical, just like I showed you on the whiteboard just now. Horizontal, remember the sleeping lines. You've done sleeping line and standing line? Yes, so you'll be able to remember that better. Horizontal. Aradhya, stop presenting. Horizontal, you have the sleeping lines. Okay. And your vertical, the standing lines. Right? Now, there's an example of the horizontal bar graph given here. The following graph shows the marks of a student in different subjects. Now, see, you have on the vertical axis, on the vertical axis, the subjects are mentioned. Lawrence, can you read out the subjects that are mentioned on the vertical axis? Yes, ma'am. Yes, just read out the subjects. Example, the following bar graph shows the length of ropes of various colors. A, a, a horizontal bar graph. We are on horizontal bar graph. And I've asked you to read the subjects that are mentioned on the vertical axis. I just showed you the vertical axis and the horizontal axis. Yes? This is the vertical yes, axis. This is the horizontal axis. Read the subjects that are mentioned on the vertical axis, Lawrence. Ma'am, first is English, mm -hmm. then Hindi, then Maths, and then Social Studies, then Science. All right. Now it says on the on the horizontal axis, the marks are given. Can you see the marks on the horizontal axis? Yes, children. Divyash, can you read yes, out the marks that are mentioned over there? Divyansh, okay. on the horizontal yes, axis. Um, Divyansh, Divyansh, Divyansh and Divyansh, there's a difference in the pronunciation of your names. Divyansh, you read. Divyansh has left the meeting. Okay, Yukti, you read out the marks given there on the horizontal axis, child. Okay, ma'am. Ma'am, 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Okay, thank you. Now, children, okay. can you see the vertical Ma axis has the, the subjects? That given? The vertical axis has the subjects. The horizontal axis has the marks. Now, in English, by looking at the graph, by looking at the graph, now see how all the marks have been marked on the graph. English, can you look at the graph and tell me till which number it is marked? Aradhya, 
Ma'am, can I Ma'am, tell you? Ma'am, can I tell you? Ma'am, can I tell you? Ma'am, can I tell you? Seventy. So English, the child gets seventy. Okay. Salvi Yadav, can you look at the graph and tell me what has the child scored in Hindi? Yes, ma'am. Yes. What has the child scored? Ma'am, can I tell? Wait. Ma'am, forty. See, look carefully what she has scored in Hindi. Forty. Okay. Right. Next. Okay. Minute. Right. Swetlana, how much has the child scored in maths? Ma'am, eighty. 80. Anandita, how much has a child scored in social studies? Pragya, how much has a child scored in social studies? Ma'am, the child... 50. 50. 50. 50. So social studies, 50. Okay, Raza, how much has a child scored in science? Raza, Raza, how much has the child scored in science? Ma'am, 60. Science, 60. Ma'am, 60. Okay. Now see that now each see that square, square, that each square, one square box is equal to 10 marks. This entire thing, one square is equal to 10 marks. Right? So you have the subjects yes. here, you have the marks here, then... You have to tally and see how much the child has scored in each subject. This is known as a horizontal bar graph. Horizontal representation on a bar graph. Okay, of the data that is given to you. Now see, it says, in which subject is the mark highest? In which Mama, subject? Maths. Maths. Math. 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 When you read the bar graph, you can understand everything. Now, how many marks did the students score in English? Ma'am, 70. Ma'am, 70. 70. 70. 70. 70. Okay. Ma 70. What is the difference between the Ma marks 70. in social studies and science? Ma'am, 10. Ma'am, 10. Ma 10. Ma 10. Ma 10. 10. Right. Ma 10. Social studies, how much has the child got? Ma'am, 10. Ma'am, 50. And how much has the child got in science? Ma'am, 60. 60. Very good. So the difference is 10. Ma'am, 10. Ma'am, 10. In which subject is the mark lowest? In Hindi. In Hindi. Hindi. Ma'am, Hindi. Okay. Hindi, the child has got the least marks. Okay. That is a horizontal bar graph, children. Remember the sleeping lines. Don't forget. Now moving on to the vertical bar graph. Vertical bar graph, the standing line. The following bar graph shows the length of ropes of various colors. Now you can see the different colors. The ropes are there. They are marked on the, on the, the colors are marked on which axis? Vertical or horizontal? Ma'am, vertical. Ma'am, vertical. The colors, the colors of the rope. Ma'am, vertical. The colors are marked on which axis? Now vertical. Now vertical. Now remember, I just drew and showed you the vertical axis and the horizontal. Do this all of you. The vertical axis, that's the standing line, horizontal, the sleeping line. So the rope, now look at the graph very carefully and now tell me the colors of the, the different color ropes, they are marked on which? Axis, vertical or horizontal? Ma'am, vertical. Ma vertical. Ma Ma horizontal. Ma 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 vertical. The ropes Ma are vertical. there. The ropes, the colors, they are Ma marked vertical. on the red, orange, Ma yellow, vertical. green. The color of the ropes are Ma marked vertical. on the horizontal. Ma and vertical. the length, the length in meters is marked on the vertical. Look here. Yes, ma'am. Yes, See here. Read the labeling that is done on the axis. The vertical axis, the horizontal axis. These are the lengths that are marked over here for each rope. Each rope, the different colors are here and the lengths are given here. Can you see? The vertical axis, the horizontal axis. Yes, ma'am. Okay, now yes, look at the ropes. Study that graph carefully. 
Which piece of rope is 21 meters long? Look at the rope. Look at all the ropes. Nan brown. Nan brown. The brown, brown. brown. The brown color rope. Okay. Pragya, which piece of pieces of rope are more than 18 meters long? But less than 21 meters. Do not look at the answer. Look at the graph. Look at the graph. Ma'am, uh, ma'am, orange, yellow, and blue. Orange, yellow, and blue. Orange is how many meters? Ma'am, orange, yellow, and blue. Ma'am, what is the length of the orange rope? Ma'am, 19. Ma'am, Okay, and what is the length of the yellow rope? Ma'am, 19. Ma'am, 20. And what is the length of the blue rope? Ma'am, 20. Okay, so these are all less than, less than 21 meters, but more than 18 meters. Good. What is the length of the shortest rope? Sandy? Ma'am, green. Ma'am, green. Ma'am, the green one. The green one. Very good. Green. Children, look at the graph. Do not look at the answers given there. Look at the graph. Ma'am, green 16 centimeters. Okay. Green is 16 centimeters. Go to green and the vertical axis. See the length over there given in meters? 16. Okay. What is the length of the red rope? Ma'am, 18 18. And which rope is 19 meters long? Which rope is 19 meters long? Ma'am, orange. 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 All right. Now it says a bar graph should have. Now remember all the things that I told you. A title explaining the information given in the graph. A title explaining the information given in the graph. Okay. Now here. The examples that are given to you, the titles are mentioned on top. See the titles are mentioned. The first one, the following graph shows the marks of student in different subjects. The second graph, the following bar graph shows the length of ropes of various colors. This is your title. Then the horizontal and vertical scales with labels. The vertical and horizontal scales with labels. The vertical and horizontal scales with labels. Here, length in meters and here you have the color of the ropes. This is the labeling of the axis. Got it, children? Next point says, in the number yes, scale, the numbers should be marked at equal distances. The numbers should be marked at equal distances. Now, by looking at the graphs, by looking at both these graphs, can you see they are all even each square at different uh, same uh, the same sizes are there they are not small and big are they small and big are they small and big or no, are they at the same no, equal distances no ma'am they are at equal distances from each other right so remember when you're marking they have to be at equal distance from each other. yes and the last point says in the bar graph representation the bars should be placed at equal distances the equal distance is very important children your your graph and you're making make sure you have equal distance between each marking it shouldn't be one is more uh, longer one is shorter then your graph will be showing the wrong uh, the same information right now exercise 16.2 there's a graph made over there for you can you see 16.2, all of you? Yes, ma'am. Okay, it yes, says, the given bar graph shows the number of words in a sentence. It shows the number of words in a sentence. Okay. Now answer the following questions. First, look at the graph. Now you will uh, answer the question that I am asking you first. Pragya, stop playing with that. Abdul, uh, Abdul Rahman? Not there. Saksham? Saksham? 
Yes, ma'am. Can you see the graph made on page number 215, the top 16.2 exercise? Yes? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now, can you tell me what is marked on the horizontal axis? Ma'am, S1, S2, S3, S4, S5, S6. Okay. And it has been labeled as sentence numbers. Those are the sentence numbers. Right? Those are the sentence numbers. Okay, good. Vedantika, what is marked on the vertical axis over there? Look at the vertical axis, child. Look at the vertical axis. What's marked over there? Switch on a camera, child. Yes, yes. Ma now see what is labeled over here on the vertical axis. Saksham just told about the horizontal axis. Now the vertical axis. Read what's written over there. Number of? What is Number written there? Of Number of words. Number yes, of words. Now okay. the title of the graph says... The title says the given bar graph shows the number of words in a sentence. Sentence mein kitne words hai wo dikha hai. You have to answer the following questions. Now remember one square box is equal to one word. One square, one square box, that small little square box is equal to one word. They are giving you that information also. Now based on that information, which is the longest sentence? Which is the longest sentence? Now, these are your sentences here. Count the words. These are the words. These are the sentences. Count how many words are there in each sentence. S4 is the largest. S4 is the largest. Okay, Yukti. How many words are there over there in that sentence? S4? 16. 16. 16. 16. Very good. There are 16. Study the bar graph nicely. Then, which is the shortest sentence? Mom? S5. 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 Samra, how many words are there in S5? Look at the bar graph. Seven. 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 Okay. Good. Seven. Very good. Seven. Right. Good. And the next question says, how many words do the following sentences have? Now look at each sentence and complete that exercise quickly. Count the number of words. Count the number of words. Ma'am, I have done already. All of you do that exercise. Count the number of words. I have done. I have done already. I have done already. Okay. Then the answer is S1. The answer is S5. Ma'am, C is 15, Pragya, Pragya, just a second. Pragya, hang on, wait. Lawrence, the first answer, S1. How many words are there? Ma'am, 15. 15 words. Can you see the bar graph? It's going right up till 15? Yes. Okay. Vedantika, S2, how many words are there in that sentence? Shanesh, S2, how many words are there in the sentence? Yes. That's eight. Eight words. Very good. Okay. Asim, S3, how many words are there in the sentence? Yes. Ma'am 11. Ma 11. 11. 11. 11. Okay. Ma'am 11. All right. Good. And S4, Sayyadi Hanali? Ma'am 16. Ma'am 16. 16. Okay. Ma'am, can I tell? Next question. Yusuf, how Ma many in S5? Ma'am 7. Ma 7. 7. Okay. Very good. Divya Shohan, S6, how many words are there in that sentence? Ma'am, nine. Ma'am, nine. Ma'am, nine. Nine. Divyansh, Johan, have you done a child? 
Yes, ma'am. Okay, nine words. Right, good. All right, children. Now I think this is your computer period. Ma'am, but ma'am has not sent the link. Ma'am has not yes, sent the link yet. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am is not sending the link. Okay, when you get the link, you let me know. In the meantime, we'll continue. Study the following data and represent it in the graph given alongside by coloring. Now you can use your pencil colors here. Okay, okay, you can use your pencil colors. Mom, can I use oil pencils? That will make uh, the thing your book very uh, messy, I think, Svetlana. Okay. Use pencil colors, child. Those oil pastels are very hard. See, the daily rainfall in a city is given over here. Now you have to work it out. Sunday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Those are the days. Then you have the uh, days, one, two, three, four. They are numbered over there. And the rainfall is given in millimeters. See the graph given over there? Yeah. Vertical axis and the horizontal axis. Rainfall in millimeters. And then the days. Now Sunday. Sunday, what is the uh, the same measure for the rainfall? Map six. Six. So take Map your pencil, six. take your pencil color and mark over there. Mom, can you mark with any Ma'am, which color? color? Any color. Any color. Okay. Any color. I will do yellow. Use okay. any color, child. Mom, okay. Mama, I've done. All right. Then Tuesday. Mark the measure for Tuesday. Mammy. Tuesday is eight. Okay, good. Mama, I have done. Ma'am, what is first one? The first Sunday, you have to mark the uh, the saying measure of rainfall. That is six millimeters. Then Tuesday it is eight. Mom, computer, Mama send the link. Mama send the link. Okay. Yes, ma'am. So children, listen to me carefully. We'll stop here, right? And mm. in the next period, that is after break, you have science. Come on.